and drink it. That was a fascinating observation. Korea, love three, first set. Two double faults from Korea. Yeah, so he's got to shake himself out of this mode. Against uh, Draper and Krychek in the two matches, he served uh, one double fault. He likes wearing that uh, captor's uh, courier, but uh, you might say, well, why on earth at night? It can help to cut out some of the lights. Well, he's just put it on, hasn't he, after three, three games without it. I remember asking him a couple of years back, I said, why do you wear the cap? And he said, oh, well, I'm, you know, light-haired and I'm from Florida and, you know, it's sensible. I said, yes, but we're playing indoors, Jim. He said, oh, well, you know. But uh, of late, he's tended not to wear it at night or indoors, but uh, whether it's a bit of a talisman for him. Well, let's see if he's learned from that last point, really. His most attacking point so far. How I imagined he'd play a lot more of this match. only f five points on his serve in six service games uh, in the last set against Ivan Isovic. This is one of the problems for Courier, how to get to Muster's backhand side. He's got a hit with power and a little flatter. Good second serve, but what's becoming clear is that Korea has got to be on the top of his game to stay with Mustep. But we've seen Korea starting slowly this week and maybe having got his first game. That will free him up. It's Muster serving 3 1, first set. Yes, he's done well in adversity, fighting through his battles this week, Korea. What a wonderful rally, and what a shame it should end on an error. Well, here, just uh, an illustration of that adversity I was talking about, because Muster had him on the end of a string to begin with. Muster virtually feels, that I, I suggest, that he can play every shot in the book. But great resistance from the hometown boy. And that gets the crowd going.
15, Coach Green. Must have getting the benefit there of having served most of his serves wide to the courier backhand. That courier was expecting that one, and therefore the American was uh, totally unprepared for the serve down the middle. It's the first ace of the match. Card giving Mustard the whistle because uh, he's demonstra demonstrably unpleased, displeased with the balls he's been given. He wants the fastest ball possible. Mr. Almost paying for wanting to play that uh, ball that was going wide to his backhand to the forehand, but he just about got his feet round in time to play the backhand after all. It's not that bad a stroke, is it, through? Or I mean, why should he want to run around it even at a point where he's right on top of the net? Curry, you're talking about? No, Musta. He was running around the uh, running around his backhand then, but uh, in a situation which was virtually um, suicidal. Yes, I, I think uh, his backhand isn't that good, uh, or isn't that bad, sorry. And uh, he's, he showed by hitting it uh, on the last last uh, ground stroke that he played that, in fact, uh, he doesn't mind using it. So that uh, what you say is partly true, that he does uh, he does run around the, uh, the backhand a lot to play the forehand. One can't blame him, uh, because there are times in, in Worcester's career or times in matches where uh, he can cannot hit an aggressive backhand and therefore he uses the forehand as much as Courier does but I think there are signs tonight that he's a lot more pleased with his backhand than he has been in this tournament up until now so I think uh, we're not going to see quite as much running round of it and of course uh, I always maintain that's often a barometer of uh, Muster's game if he feels he can pass or keep the backhand low if anybody attacks the net for instance then his form is good to, to an area of the court where Musta feels he can run down. Musta running wide to his forehand. Got a lot more options than when running wide to his backhand. have uh, the slight edge over Muster in the serving department. He's not able to hit the ball as hard as Muster, but then uh, he can hit it in more often. Higher first serve percentage. That's Korea's first really convincing attack. And this is what uh, he and Harold Solomon, his coach, and others would like, uh, I'm sure, him to do quite a bit more, to get in on that weaker side. And he's been volleying really pretty well this week, Courier. And as you were saying with uh, Musta, by playing to Courier's backhand and then Courier expecting the backhands, Musta then can uh, swing the ball with his 
opponent wrong-footed, so Courier can do the same. And just as we say that the left-handers have the advantage when they serve wide to right-handers backhands, so Korea did the same to the Muster backhand. And if you get your serving right, then the first volley can often be an easy put away, as that was. Good first serve percentages for both men. Muster, 4-2, first set. First time he's won the first point on the Muster serve. Fine blow, pronounced uh, Western grip, but it's a real hammer shot. It's not a thing of great beauty, but uh, the effect effectiveness, I suppose, can be considered beautiful. A great deal wrong with that backhand. Such a big point, and uh, although Courier didn't get uh, a lot of pace on this, Mr. Still had to work it, and look how he curls it around so that it only hits court, or for the first time, bounces in court. Prior to that, it was over the tram lines, or the alley, as the Americans call it. Well, Curry has been threatening this, not just today, but in his other matches. The confidence to know that you've come back twice against top-class opponents. Two break points for Korea. chance then perhaps not to make an outright winner but to certainly set himself up for a, a volley put away perhaps he was thinking just a bit too far ahead good correction yes and it was quick and it was on the line closest to him Muster has no case to argue, because uh, this, these things do happen, so it's understandable that he should be frustrated having put the serve exactly where he wanted to. Well, that is a bad error from Korea, especially considering how big the point was. And particularly, too, because he's been playing these left-handers and uh, his forehand cross-court, which is not normally to be compared with his uh, into-out forehand, he's actually been hitting pretty well. So, obviously, just that little bit of extra pressure playing Muster. And a semi-final.
Well, clearly a section of the crowd felt that Muster had served a double fault. Yes, it's uh, not a crowd that uh, is backward in coming forward, is it? I mean, we saw them in that uh, match against uh, Spady and even Isovic, where they really got involved, virtually took over. Same umpire, incidentally, too. But it really doesn't help uh, the hometown boy for them to be whistling during play. Now in theory, Korea could have been uh, given a time violation, but I think it would have been a very harsh and unnecessary one, and I think the umpire used his discretion correctly then. well played by Mustap. He was perhaps lucky to have, uh, the way, in the way he saved those two break points, but from deuce and advantage, two excellent points, and he now leads 5-2. Back to the ATB Tour Mercedes Super 9 from Key Biscayne. It's just going back to that time violation rule. The rule exists so that people like, well, you know, like nobody in particular, a player doesn't just pretend there's a stone in his or her shoe to uh, uh, win a bit of a delay. But uh, Courier went straight to the side of the court immediately after the point finished, took his shoe off, tipped out anything that was in it, put his shoe back on again. So it was perfectly legitimate. And Courier is a man who takes, generally speaking, up to his full allotted time. I don't know if these balls will be any more acceptable to Muster, but they're new. Korea serving 2-5 down. pertinent part of those uh, statistics was the fact that not so much that uh, Musta was seeing Courier getting in a higher percentage of first serves that he normally gets in, but more importantly for Musta, Courier's losing or not making as many first serve points as he does as a rule. So although he's getting them in, he's not winning as high a percentage. Starting to do that a bit more now, especially from the right-hand court, serving wide to the Muster backhand and coming in behind it. It always defeats me why players don't do it more often. That was how Arthur Ashe masterminded his wonderful Wimbledon final of 75 against Jimmy Connors. That uh, serve from the right-hand court wide to the Connors backhand, he won countless points on that, including match point. That's a glorious backhand from Muster. Yes, I don't think it's uh, an exaggeration on your part. I suppose the one doubt is that it's uh, not all that big a point, 40 love, but yes. who knows. On the other hand, he did seem to play it easily and yet had uh, terrific timing. Korea's first ace takes him to 3 5.
a man who will average more races uh, per match than Worcester, but who trails here. Worcester 5-3, serving for the first set. Saturated uh, shorts, them not very absorbent. Played that drop shot well. It was an all court point this by Curry because he had driven Muster back with some deep shots, even though they were to Muster's forehand, and uh, consequently had Muster on the retreat, and that came unexpectedly. Muster's never did his best when serving for a set or serving for a match. Finds it difficult to nail it down. It's both those serves going to the courier forehand. See if Musta serves wide on this occasion. By Courier standing a bit further out to his left, it actually meant the serve down the middle was a, a, a safer serve than it would otherwise be. Last year in the quarterfinals, when uh, Courier lost to Birch, he had 20 break points against Birch and won four of them. It's a bit too casual on that volley, Musta. Perhaps slightly fortuitous that uh, Korea didn't make more of that backhand after the good anticipation. But Musta now has his first set point. And that'll do. It's taken him 40 minutes. But a very hard one first set as a result of Baking Korea's opening service game. 6 3.
Oh. A matter of fact expression on Korea's face, but it belies the frustration that he must feel. I mean, he had four break points in the first set, but couldn't convert any of them. A number of them he missed with errors. And in the opening game of the second set, he gives Musta three break points with really a terrible miss on the drive volley. The whole court was open. That's what he should have done. And that wasn't quite a volley. No, and it uh, harks back to what I was saying about his strength going to the Musta strength. He's getting irritated now with the ball kids, but I think the irritation really comes from the fact that uh, Musta's returning uh, all his best shots, chiefly because they're going to Musta's forehand where he can run down so many balls. Yes, and Korea is unfairly getting irritated with that ball boy. There are good and less good ball boys around the world. I think the best I've seen are at the French Open in Wimbledon. And uh, we were talking about the French Open yesterday through, and I thought that point you made about so many players that could win it, I mean, it's, it's one of the most exciting French Opens uh, in years, I think. I mean, uh, either of these two players could win it, although Curry not in this form. Bruguera is looking good. Sampras must have a good chance. We've got Moya, Costa. Very exciting. It should be. I had uh, picked Korea uh, earlier in the year just because I felt uh, particularly good form. Musta one love, second set. Oh. He's played that once too often and he gave that far too much air. Yes, Muster on his uh, heels, but uh, as you say, it was a lob drop shot from Korea. Clay, it mightn't have bounced uh, quite as high, but even on that surface, uh, Muster would have got to it. He'd have slid into it. I'm fascinated just to see how players who've done so well on hard do on the clay. The implication is that they ought to do well, especially as most of them are originally clay court specialists. But I just feel that we might see a slightly different uh, set of performances. The European clay court season begins in two weeks in Estoril. week on Monday actually there's an Asian hard court season that's continuing and Pete Sampras will be playing in Asia but the only two clay courts he's playing before the French are the Italian Open which starts on the 12th of May and the World Team Cup in Düsseldorf a week later well Muster has not been happy with the balls all week Korea's querying the ball he's chucked away. And Korea was just saying, checking to see whether Musta was claiming the ball was broken. Because if it was, they might have replayed that point. Yes, if the ball's uh, just soft and you've missed the point, you can't uh, reclaim the point, so to speak, or play it again. Well, let's see if Courier can convert this one. He's missed four in the first set. Desperately needs this break point. The 
The serve out to his backhand again. Yes, real loss of concentration initially in this game from Worcester. Four missed first serves, including those two doubles, but then a stitch in time. And he did well to let that ball drop too and get too excited and try and play the drive volley. It's beautifully played. Good line of attack from uh, Korea. You can't fault him at all, as uh, Chris says. Just an outstanding cross quarter. Well, every time Musta has been in a spot of bother, he's really played a level higher. Just those two points at 4-2 uh, two, four, uh, four, two in the first set where he was a bit lucky that Korea missed a couple of ground strokes. But apart from that, he really has lifted his game and Korea's now set and love two down. Two races each. smash a fine little steered uh, low forehand there from Courier not a shot that he plays with ease we were talking at breakfast this morning about Jan Kodesh and that was a shot that he always used to play extremely well the smash off the bounds the Wimbledon champion in 73. Even one of Korea's best serves almost comes back. Well, Korea is keeping his record at the Lipton. Muster, 2 1 up, second set.
You might wonder with uh, Musta succeeding as well with his uh, sliding left-handed serve to the courier backhand, why even Isovic was not able to do it. Well, even Isovic uh, traditionally mixes it up and um, he served actually far too many to courier's forehand side and didn't serve as many aces as he normally does. Plus was very erratic off the ground. Mr. Indicating that uh, what he got wrong on that stroke was his head position. Another chink of light for Jim Courier. Well, it's almost a, a gimme, really. Although there were certainly signs against even Isovic and Krychek that the Courier backhand was being middled. There weren't any signs that he could really hit effective winners down the line. Yes, I think if Musta had wanted to lob then, he should have at least tried to get it down the backhand wing of Korea. Another break point for Jim Courier. Six of the match. And shades of last year's quarterfinal. And he missed all those break points. He missed 16 in that match against Arno Birch. He's missed six here. I'm afraid uh, it's eating away at him. And when he is faced uh, with his favorite shot, he knows it's going to most of strength. He feels he's got to do something extra special. Perhaps why Jim Courier is 26 in the world rankings. He'll probably be around 20, maybe just inside the top 20 next week. He's gone around better this year than he did last year. And he's beaten Ivanisevic and Krychak. But uh, he's just not consistent enough. No, I think uh, it's awfully difficult to get away with uh, the sort of weakness he has at this level. Must a weaker on the backhand, but not as uh, dramatically weaker. Korea 1 3, second set. That's what I maintain you try and do if you've got a weakness is try and eliminate errors on that side and uh, look to your stronger side to produce the winners. But when there's a pressure like Muster opposite you, you're uh, prone to want to go for something a little better than just not make an error. Three double faults for Jim Courier. Lovely. That's really good. 
and he had all the time in the world to play it as well. Yes, the same little forehand that Curry had played earlier that he played so well, but this time Muster in position and really uh, played it with a lot of wrist. And that provided the snap and the topspin, even at Curry, a run for that, it uh, would have jumped away from him. Glad for Curry's sake that he didn't miss that little smash at the end. Some remarkable defending from Thomas Muster. hand up I think it was yes it was what state of mind does that tell us or does that tell us about his state of mind lapsed uh, again on that two-handed side into the Rosse class of, of missed backhands. Mark Rosse this year seems to be playing a lot more one-handed backhands and much more effective too. I think he's dropped the two-hander completely as Rosse. Still plays one or two but rarely. Every now and again, yeah. man who uh, used to use artificial strings in his racket which is most unusual for the top players Muster for instance uh, has very thin gauge in his racket very tightly strung well, that was a very hard fought game for Jim Courier as they all are but he's still in there Still only one break, Musta leading 3-2, second set. Back to the ATP Tour Mercedes Super 9 from Key Biscayne. Musta, 3-2, second set. Sense this crowd would love to get behind Courier. I think he's got to start winning one or two points, or at least getting to break point. He doesn't want to get a break point because he hasn't won one yet. Yeah, that's so right. how, do, how does he win a game without <laughs> getting to break point? <laughs> oh. Well, he gave himself a real talking to at the change of ends, Courier, and he came out dancing. Yes, he's now made two errors. Two unforced errors since the uh, talking to. And his problem throughout has been that he's only once been able to get the first point of uh, the game on the Muster serve. And so often that'll set the tone and just give you that extra 
feeling or extra bit of confidence, or in his case, perhaps confidence, which uh, is otherwise lacking. Well, rich applause from this crowd, who I think have really come to respect Thomas Muster. They're not exactly like him. And certainly not when he's playing the local. Yes. The irony with all these misbreak points, and it sounds as if it's uh, an epidemic or a disease, a chronic disease with uh, Korea. In fact, uh, they both uh, make about the same number of uh, breaks during the year in terms of percentages, and not very different. So it's just a uh, coincidence, really, that it should be happening to Korea twice in two years here. for Jim Korea. by his fourth double fault. Point for Korea, this. Well, having gone from 40 love to 40 30, if he got back to Deuce, I think he really would have started to lose confidence in himself. What can he do now at this stage, Fru? Well, you've certainly got to think positively, and uh, I think you've got to use your, your strength. And you've, I would certainly be concentrating on the Muster backhand. I'd be using my serve uh, quite a bit more, serve volleying. Every time he's serve volley to Muster on the backhand side, he's won the point, really, with uh, a great deal of ease. I was saying that there's not much to choose uh, between the two of them when it comes to actually uh, breaking their opponent's serve. Where Korea does trail Muster in, is in the ability to save break points. In other, uh, other words, Muster's just that much grittier when he's serving and he has to fight to save his serve. He wins uh, a far higher percentage than does Courier. Well, the important statistic is that uh, Muster has converted two break points in this match and 
Korea hasn't converted any. So we have the new balls. Just serving four three. Second set. There's the clay quarter in him. It's a shot you see a lot on the clay court. A chopped forehand, like a squash shot, really. He almost slid to it. He did slide. The best ever slider um, I saw on a hard court was uh, former American number one, Cliff Ritchie. Famous tennis uh, family, Cliff and Nancy Ritchie. Both number ones in America, but he used to slide on, on anything. Made of... Uh, Good Texas rock he was, or is. Oh. Oh. Korea irritated, but Muster is making him play so many balls. That backhand just dipping over the net, causing Korea to play the half volley. It's 11 points on the run. Muster has won on his own serve. And it takes him to within a game of his first Lipton final since the one he didn't play eight years ago. Yes, it may be a low serving percentage by Muster, but he's actually, I think, served as well as I've seen him serve for some time. Served intelligently. Korea 3-5. Ace count starting to rise. Shows the extra little bit of confidence in Muster there. He could have run round that and played the forehand, but he feels he can work his backhand pretty well. Interesting shot that because he really laid into it and hit it right down the middle of the court. Very often people feel when they've got to go for big shots, they've got to go for lines or wide of the opponent. You can be very positive in hitting to the middle of the court. Almost a tired shot from Muster. Can't believe Muster could be tired. Have to play at least ten hours without a break if you'd be tired.
It's a good serve from Korea. That's where he's won so many of his points on the serve. But in a moment, it'll be Muster serving for a place in the Lipton final. 5-4, second set. Back to the ATB tour. So, Jim Courier has been fighting back all week. But if he doesn't do it now, his number is up. The crowd doing its best to motivate him. But it's Muster serving for the match. 5-4, second set. Well, this will be possibly the real biggest test of Muster serving and the improved serving and the big points because he, as I said earlier, finds it difficult to, to wrap up matches with the serve sometimes. Even during this tournament, he was down break points against Kareccia serving for the match. I thought one of the best points that Curry had played, he looked uh, so much more positive, of course, you'd expect him to uh, pull out the stops now. A little sigh on Curry's face when he missed that backhand. Right, this is a huge point. He can still take all those little steps to get himself in the perfect position for that smash. A beautifully played point from Thomas Muster, and it takes him to match point. He's done it. Eight years after reaching his first Lipton final, Thomas Muster reaches his second. 6 3 6 4 in an hour and 22 minutes. And it'll be a Bruguera Muster final. Your thoughts on this match and on the final for McMillan? Well, two French champions there walking off the uh, court, or at least shaking hands. And I think uh, the most impressive part of Muster's game was the fact that with a lower first serve percentage than he normally does, he struck so well. He won such a high ratio of points. And that was because uh, he played the big points so well and he got them effectively to.